yeah. in the world. Mm -hmm. this good. They come in 40 different fragrances. This good. Even that smell lasts only 12 to 18 hours on the body. Really good for the skin. So do you go like thrift store shopping? Yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. What part about Lena is this? Is that a five points? I don't even know. This is just little five points. Little five points in um, Pond City Market is over here. Okay, I've done there with I got a steak, brisket. Oh, I keep saying full, it's pho. <laughs> she got the same thing. So hopefully it's good. Okay. This is just me. So you just take all these sauces and you customize them to how you like them. Mm -hmm. In the world. Mm. This good. They come in 40 different fragrances. Ooh, good. Even that smell lasts only 12 to 18 hours on the body. Really good for the skin. Here y'all go. That's our whip shape by the pink oh. sugar and Jamaican fruit. I think that one is. Okay. Follow us on Instagram. Okay. What's Instagram? All right. Yeah, what's the Instagram? Is it on here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate the oh, push. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Babe, we're going in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, okay. And then some of the ones in the middle. Okay, thank you. I was over here. <laughs> I know, they're not very well marked. I'm sorry. Like, this would look like cool baggy or like. Yeah, like mom jeans. Really? Yeah. But you would be white. Right. I would not hold team. Take a flight out the middle for a means and hit mics for a fresh. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not sure. I love you so much. So I'm getting ready to go out today. We're going to rock study, which I actually went to in one of my um my last summer vlog um i went to rock study but that day i went on like a saturday and apparently on tuesdays is when it's lit on tuesdays they'd be having like this whole afro beat slash my piano night and they'd be playing that type of music and sometimes they even have like special guests so it should be fun tonight um my friend is on her way right now it's 9:05, and it's literally a tuesday i usually don't like to go out if during the weekday because I be having work like tomorrow we have to wake up at 7 a.m. So you know we can't go too hard tonight. I mean we're still gonna get lit but not too late because I gotta wake up early tomorrow. But this hair is giving like and I just got a new straightener. I had this um straightener that I was using for years and now that I have this, this is what you call a straightener. This is what you call a flat iron. When I tell you as I'm doing this, I can see the smoke coming out. That is what I like to see. I want to see the heat damage as I am straightening the hair. That way I know it's working. And my last straightener, I mean, I don't know how many degrees it went up to. You just have to turn like this dial. But this one, you could like set how hot you want it to be. And it literally gets so hot. Like, it's amazing. But yeah, my hair and makeup are received. Then I just have to fix my eyebrows because I do my eyebrows last now. And it's been helping me do my makeup faster. So I just have to like fix my eyebrows a little. I need to like shave. My eyebrows, they literally get hairy so fast. Like, I could shave my eyebrows today. By tomorrow, they're already growing back out. Which, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but also annoying. Because my eyebrows just never stay clean. And then I'm just going to add some eyeliner. I just use a little bit of brown eyeliner on my 
from their eyes. I don't like too much about a mascara because it starts to look like I have spiders underneath my eyes. And my new lip combo has been brown liner um, with this um, lip gloss from Morphe in the shade Mercury. I love it so much. Because usually I have to like mix different glosses together, but with this one, it's like the perfect nude. Okay, makeup and hair done. Now I gotta figure out an outfit, which is always the hardest part, but it's not like anything crazy. It's kind of like a casual vibe, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna find something to wear real quick. vlogging with my phone because I brought my camera but I forgot my SD card and today has just been a whole a whole what do you even call it just a chaotic day for me but I was supposed to do it like a whole get ready with me while I got ready for a concert of course that didn't happen because I ended up getting um, ready late but it wasn't even my fault this time but yeah I don't get ready late then we just it was just too much going on but we're finally at the Brema concert oh well we're not there yet we're almost there and then we probably have to look for parking or something. What's what's new? What's, what's new? new? 258 likes. TikTok <laughs> sensations. Okay, okay, Hello. okay. Should we do this one? Yeah. It feels so But close. they turned the TikTok. Yeah, wait, let's see this. I think. That's what we got. <laughs> okay, we can do it like this. We're making a TikTok. Okay, y'all. So today we got a special guest. We got Esther. Hi, guys. I'm Esther. We are getting ready to go to the Rima concert. And so we're going to pregame in the car before. And then we'll probably get another drink in there. Right. But right now we're gonna, of course, make it a game, and we're gonna see who can take the shot without making a face. Mm -hmm. And we're taking shots of Casa Amigos. Okay. So Esther's gonna be first. Oh God! Why? No, you're trying to <laughs> test out the competition. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> That's cheating. So just let me know when no, you're ready. No, I'm my first. Hey. Girl, how do I open this? Oh. But how much is okay? I oh, better how much not is a shot. <laughs> Mm, that's gonna be pretty hard to was that beat. Good? That was really good. But I almost choked. <laughs> so if I made a face, it was because of that. Okay. <clears throat> Watch this. This is gonna be terrible. I'd be smiling though. So smiling yeah, is my normal face. This is serious. Once you taste the shot, you will not be right. smiling anymore. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, I need to watch it back to see if we. <laughs> Today we got special guests. We got Esther. Hi guys, I'm Esther. We are getting ready to go. That's not like a robot. Hi guys. Here we go. Period. This is pretty good. Period. Okay, here we go. If I didn't have to choke, I would have ate. Oh, you did good too. See, how's it going? Smooth. We did pretty good. Okay. Okay, now we need to drink for real, for real. You fill up like. Mm-hmm. To the rim. Should we yeah. drink all of this or should we save some? I don't mind. Because I feel like I've been taking baby shots. Like, okay, I didn't yeah, actually take you should, no like, shots. You should take a shot. How old are you, 22? You want to do 22 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we done. I like to drink with Esther because Esther is my mate. I like to drink with Esther because she gets it down at 8, eight seven, 7, 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, 1. I was in TikTok. It was like because she gets it down at 8. And then nigga drink yes. the whole thing. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I love Ow. that game and I'm so bad at it. Okay, let's go. I don't know. Do they have a menu? Palomas, tequila soap, Paloma. Thank you. 
perform two songs two. and then he wouldn't be like oh the audio is messed up Afrobeats deserve more than this I'm out of here and then he literally just walked off stage I, he was, left. I thought it was a joke I thought he was in an outfit change he left. why did he never come back he literally performed two songs like are you dumb you are not Beyonce you are not Beyonce you're lucky we even bought tickets to this concert I'm getting angry so yeah I was just like what so now the concert is over he literally performed two songs guys so now yeah we just leaving it was a fail, it was a flop. I'm too fucking busy. Check my technique. Hey guys, I just finished getting ready for tonight. Um today's Thursday. Um I'm actually going back to New York on Monday, which is crazy. I can't believe I've been in Atlanta for three months. Time literally has flown by so fast um i've enjoyed my summer here like i'm not even feeling to go back to new york like like i'm literally hoping time goes by slow so i can enjoy my last few days here tonight one of my co-workers um invited me out because like during my internship we didn't really get time to like hang out so today she invited me out to this event that she's hosting um i don't even know what type of event it is i saw something about beyonce it's like a club renaissance themed party um i'm not like a beyonce stand or nothing you know i'm not a beehive it literally says the hive um this is what it is hopefully it's good um i think i don't know it says vibe to beyonce all night so it's giving they're gonna be playing beyonce music all night but then it says x afro so i don't know if they're gonna be combining it with like african music i really don't know but i'm just going to support i forgot to update you guys when i went out last time um earlier in the week i went to where did i go I know I went to Rocksteady. When I had went to the Rema concert, tell me why. I don't know if I ended up updating you guys or anything, but tell me why. You know, we got to Rema concert. It was vibes, vibes. The opening acts performed, and then Rema comes out on stage, right? Why after, like, two, three songs, he gets off the stage? And I'm like, he was literally on stage talking about, oh, it's so hot in this venue, and um, the sound in this venue was off. Afrobeats doesn't deserve this. Um, I can't perform like this. And then he literally left, and never came back everybody was really so confused i thought it was a joke like i literally thought he was joking i thought this was part of the act i thought this was part of the performance but he literally never came back once they turned on all the lights in the venue that's when i knew they were serious and it was just so funny because everybody was really so confused and it's like he literally performed like two three songs and then literally dipped off stage so that happened i mean it didn't really ruin my night because i'm not like a huge rama fan anyways like i literally just went for vibes so i still had a good night even though it was kind of chaotic and then after that we ended up hanging out with some friends um and had like a little after theme and then the other day i went to rock steady um on a tuesday night and it was literally so lit it was so much fun and tell me why the veto showed up i was like because literally when we were buying our tickets to go there like the dj or the person who runs the event was like oh we got a surprise guest coming out tonight it's his second time here and like when i went on their instagram page i looked at like a few celebrities that have popped up to their um event before so i was like imagine if it's the veto like imagine if the veto pops out why was i there and the veto literally walks past me and i'm like i'm unavailable them know they see me i was really like oh my god but yeah it was a fun night um one of my other favorite artists showed up too i didn't even get to see him like they kept announcing oh another special guest is coming but like there was just so much going on that night 
that I didn't even really like realize. And yeah, I didn't even get to see him. But when I got home, I looked at their Instagram story. I saw that he was literally there. He was like partying next to the Beatle. But yeah, that was a really fun night. Um, and then it was so crazy because I think after we went out with some friends after, and then I didn't get home to like 3, 4 a.m. And I literally had to wake up at 7 the next morning to go to my internship. And guys, when I tell you it was so hard to wake up, I literally slept for like three hours. I had to drag myself out of bed and drive 45 minutes to work. It was just a lot, but it was worth it because I had a good time. Tomorrow is my last day of my internship, which again, I literally cannot believe. Like, I've been here for three months and it's like literally done like that. But yeah, um, usually on Fridays we work remote. But because it's my last day, I actually have to go into the office and like return like my equipment and my laptop and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go to the office whenever I feel like waking up. Like I'm not gonna wake up at like 7 a.m. to try to go. Um, Cause I don't know what time I'm gonna come home tonight and I'm probably gonna be tired when I get back. But yeah, I can't believe like I literally only have like, today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I leave on Monday back to New York. Like it's literally crazy, but I'm about to head out real quick. Um, I'll probably take some videos on my phone or something when I get there. And then update you guys tomorrow. I'm too fucking busy. Check my doing my makeup ignore um the sides of my lace i did not glue down the sides because i do not have time for that right now so let's just ignore that but the other day when i went to the beyonce party thing it was cute it was fun but they were like playing beyonce all night so it was a bit like i was watching like everybody else kind of vibe but then you know i had a couple shots and i was starting to you know feel the vibes or whatever but um while i was there i also got to meet some of my other co-workers and that was cool because they were actually really fun and I was kind of sad because I literally just got to hang out with them the other day and now I'm not really going to see them again. So it would have been cool if I got to meet some of my other co-workers because then, you know, I could have hung out with them more and gotten to know them more because they were actually pretty cool. But yeah, one of them actually invited me out today. We're going to go to the movies. We're going to go see Barbie. So yeah, I'm kind of late because Barbie came out like two weeks ago, but I'm happy I'm finally going to go see it. I haven't been to the movies in a minute. I leave in two days. Ask me if I've even finished packing. I mean, I packed a good amount of stuff. Like, I started packing kind of early and I had did laundry. So when I was like folding my laundry, I was like, I might as well just start packing it into my um, suitcase instead of like putting it and hanging it up in the closet. My makeup has been coming out so good lately. I feel like sometimes I go through like, kind of like a makeup rut. Like I do my makeup and it doesn't come out the way I want. But now I feel like I'm back in my zone. I have a routine now. Before it used to take me longer to do my makeup, but now I do my makeup so quick now, I feel like. So it doesn't take me that long to get ready anymore. But yeah, when I go back home to New York, um, I'm gonna hang out with, you know, some of my friends. And then I kind of want to like revamp my room because I've been in college for four years. So like my room at home, I didn't really care what it was looking like because I would only go back home during like winter break or like Thanksgiving or something. But now that I'm going back home for real, because after I graduated um, this semester, I was only home for like a week and I literally came straight to Atlanta. I've been here for three months. So now that I'm going back permanently, I want to um, revamp my room because like my room's like my safe space. So I want it to be like, I'm not, I just want it to look good and I just want it to fit a specific vibe so I could be like comfortable and just like love my room. But yeah, it's been cool, you know, having this like internship experience. I definitely see myself moving out of New York in the future. I don't know if I'll move to Atlanta. Like I like it here, but I feel like I want to explore some other cities. Like I want to go to Houston because I feel like Houston would be my vibe too. Like I feel like I might even like Houston better than Atlanta. So I want to go to Houston sometime so I can kind of see what it's like. And yeah, like, cause everyone was asking me, oh, like, are you gonna stay um, in Atlanta and move here? And I just feel like when I was coming for my internship, I was just planning for it to be an internship. I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna move here. So it's like, if I wanna move here, like I gotta go apartment shopping, I need money to buy furniture, all money to buy a car, like, you know what I mean? So when I move out for real, for real, I wanna be ready and just have everything in place. I don't want it to be like a rush thing. 
and I want to know that if I move somewhere, I don't end up changing my mind again and like leaving the next year. So I want to make sure like I'm moving somewhere I actually want to be. So that's why I want to see what Houston is like. I like New York. Like New York is cool, but I don't know maybe because sometimes I think it's overrated, but I feel like that's just because I live there. And it's like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I run out of stuff to do in New York. It's 4:06 p.m. I'm low-key trying to be ready by like five, so I'm just gonna finish my makeup. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Nothing crazy. We're just going out to see a movie. Um, do my hair because I need to fix this, and then I'll probably update you guys. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. Now I could fix my hair. Quickly figure out something to wear. I think I'm just gonna wear like some shorts and a top, and then I could start heading out. My back hurts so bad from just like sitting with no um like nothing supporting my back. This is why I have back pains at the tender age of 22. The weather is literally so gloomy. It's five o'clock. Why is it so dark outside? Like the clouds are so gloomy right now. I don't know if you guys could tell. And like in Atlanta, it goes from being really hot to like really rainy and stormy. And these last few days, there's been like a lot of different storms and stuff and like heavy wind and rain. So yeah, it looks like there's gonna be like a big storm or something, but I need to turn on this AC cause I'm sweating. Uh, oh my God, I'm literally sweating. Ooh. Guys, look at the rain. The rain is literally crazy. Like, insane. I had to drive in that rain and like, I almost couldn't see because like, there was so much like mist coming from the rain. And you know when it rains a lot, but the wind is also like blowing the rain sideways. So yeah, it was just a lot, but we're here. But yeah, now I'm just waiting for my friend. I think they're about to go get me an umbrella because I'm not coming outside in this rain. Not with this hair and makeup. Like, look. It's really insane. Why did my friend just text me saying that their umbrella broke? Now I'm gonna have to run in this weather. Like, oh my god, my hair. One thing about me, I'm going to force the suitcase to close. I love these I'm kind of scared because um, the limit is 50 pounds and like I had to close this suitcase yesterday and weighed it and it was exactly 50 pounds but then I had to add some more stuff so I'm scared it's going to be overweight I think I'm going to try to um, weigh real quick I don't even know if this is accurate hopefully they're not strict because I'm not paying no hundred dollars for an extra one pound let me see if I can put this on here It says 50 point, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like 50.6 pounds. So hopefully they're not like mass strict. I'm guessing when I get there, it'll probably weigh a little bit more on their scale because their scale is probably more accurate. I want to try to get to the airport at a good time. Um, right now it's 11.19. My flight is at 2. But yeah, I'm gonna get there early because I definitely overpacked. Because if they say my stuff is overweight, I'm just gonna have to take stuff out of this suitcase and like, I don't know, put it somewhere else. And then I have my carry-on. And I also have this big bag that I just try to shove as much stuff as I could in there. And then this other bag too. I have my makeup bag. I literally have nowhere to even put this. Like, I think I'm just gonna hold it or try to put it on top of this. But Atlanta airport is a little bit, I don't know, they'd be a little aggressive over there. So, I don't know. I'm just going to hope for the best. But I'm just going to finish up whatever else I have to do. And then I'm going to head to the airport. Goodbye to my room. My Atlanta room. Goodbye to my bathroom with these amazing lights and this big ass mirror. 
Okay, she's here. So I'm about to load my stuff in. Thank you.